Hey everyone, this is Dylan, and today I'm going to be doing a, another part of my horror and horror adjacent VHS collection, and this time will feature the rest of the S S titles and then the T titles. So I just ended up having a lot of S titles, so I was like, oh, I need to split these in half. So uh, here we go. So the first one is She Devil. Don't know if this is technically um, horror or horror adjacent, but I was like, you know, I think that it is, so why not? <laughs> and then we also have Species, which I believe just went out of print at Scream Factory. No, Species didn't go out of print. Species 2 went out of print. Um, so I haven't seen any of these, but I definitely need to give them a shot at some point. Then we have this one, which is looks super cool. This is Schools Out. Um, it was a Fangoria Presents title. Unfortunately, uh, what they ended up doing for this, I tried to watch it, and I was like, I started, and like 10 minutes in, I was like, why are their mouths not matching what they're saying? Looked it up, and it turns out this was a German television movie, and this is a dubbed version. And once I realized that their mouths aren't matching what they're saying, it drives me insane because I just, I, it's unwatchable because I just can't, it's, it's so weird. Then I'm just focused on their mouths and I can't watch the movie, which sucks. But, uh, I think that the DVD version of this has other, like, subtitle features. So I think that it's an actual German and then I can watch it with, English subtitles. Hopefully that's the case. Um, I have looked into getting the DVD, but just haven't gotten around to it yet. This next one is the same movie, but different packaging. This is The Skulls. Um, so one of them is a special edition that includes a couple special features. And then this one is just the regular. And then we have this movie called Spellcaster. It looked quite interesting, and on the back, <laughs> there is, like, this girl whose face is melting. Uh, it kind of, actually, this image looks like this image I've seen from a movie that's on the festival circuits. I think it's called Processor, um, by David Cronenberg's son. I don't, I think his name is Brandon Cronenberg, but I could be mistaken. Then we have this one. This is Scream and Scream Again. Uh, this is a, another Vincent Price movie and Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing. So uh, quite the trio there. Um, this is actually sealed. So that's pretty cool. Uh, happy to have that. We have the special edition of Sleepy Hollow. Uh, we have a Single White Female, which is actually a movie I just recently watched probably like only a few weeks ago so this one was pretty i enjoyed it so um it was pretty good then we have stigmata which i think might also be out of print from screen factory um but this was a patricia arquette movie we have stir of echoes with kevin bacon there is also the exclusive video bonus edition of The Sixth Sense, which includes a couple special features as well. And then there is this random movie called Scissors. I believe, I think it's Kino or Olive um, have released this. I just haven't picked it up on Blu-ray yet. All right, so now on to the tease. The first one we have is Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. We have 13 Ghosts, which Scream Factory just announced that they were, like a week ago, that they were uh, releasing this on Blu-ray, which of course they would, after I went and bought the 13 Ghosts and House of Wax double pack Blu-ray in January. <laughs> 
so that sucks, um, but I am trying to sell that so then I can use that money to go towards the new um, Scream Factory edition of 13 Ghosts because I'm sure they'll have some killer special features on it. I also have this Tales from the Crypt um, one, and it includes the episode's dead weight, people who live in brass hearses in seance. I did recently just watch the first season of Tales from the Crypt, um, which I had never seen before, and I, I thought it was pretty good. Um, I mean, obviously, being an anthology show, you're going to have some good episodes and you're going to have some bad episodes, so uh, I thought that was quite cool. Then we have this movie, Tentacles, which is kind of like a Jaws ripoff. Um, I think it's an Italian uh, Jaws ripoff, so that's cool. Then we have a Tarantula, which is one of the um, 50s like giant monster movies. Uh, now we have a couple of Stephen King movies. So this is, or adaptations, this is The Tommyknockers. I did a review of The Tommyknockers, so I'll put a little iCard up there if you're interested in watching that. Um, I really liked The Tommyknockers. I thought that it was, I mean, it wasn't perfect, but I thought that it was cool, and I really liked the kind of imagery and stuff around it. And then this one I also like, um, and I don't particularly know why, but this is Stephen King's Thinner. Um, it's an interesting movie. I know a lot of people don't particularly enjoy this one because none of the characters in this are likable. Uh, I like it. Um, I thought it was a fun movie and uh, happy to have, have it. Then I have Trilogy of Terror, which Kino Lorber did put this one out and they're putting out the second Trilogy of Terror, um, if I'm not mistaken. Then we have Tremors, and Tremors 3, Back to Perfection. Uh, we have Twisted Obsession, which is a one of the newest uh, added to my collection. Um, I was like, you know, this sounds kind of interesting. I should pick it up. Then we have this movie, or Twilight Zone. This is The Night of the Meek. Um, which is a single episode, and then also this one, which is kind of cool. Um, this is actually Tales from the Crypt Keeper While the Cat's Away. Um, this was one that I had when I was younger, like younger, younger. Uh, not one that I've bought since I started full-blown collecting VHS, so um, that was cool. And then the last one from the T collection is this big set of Twin Peaks VHSs. Uh, I believe that these are, yeah, this is the whole first two uh, seasons of the show, which were originally what all, originally the only thing that the show had got. And so I'll go through and show you the uh, tapes. Um, so this one has a traffic light on it. Uh, I've tried to get into Twin Peaks. I have tried and tried and tried. I've tried to get into Twin Peaks. I've tried and tried and tried. And I keep re-watching the first episode over and over because, I don't know, I just can't get into it. I probably just need to like go to the second episode and hopefully it picks up from there. Um, this one is episodes six through nine, and there's a cassette play or a cassette tape. Then we have this one, which has a cup of coffee. This is ten through fourteen. Then we have these playing cards and poker chips. Um, so I assume somebody might be playing poker. Then this one is twenty through twenty-four, and there is a a uh, donut that is a bite taken out of it. Um, that actually kind of looks like the don kind of donuts I like. I like cake donuts, um, as opposed to like yeasted donuts, I guess. Um, and then we also have this one, which is 25 through 29, and this is a diary on it. So that is it for the S, the rest of the S and T in my 
horror and horror adjacent VHS collection. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to stay safe.